Hey, this is Pete. Thanks for checking out my channel and this blues guitar tutorial. So this time around, I'm going to do a quick lesson in the key of G major. It's a funk R&B style groove, and it follows a 12 bar blues progression. I'm using some dominant seventh chords as well as ninth chords, and I'm playing in two different parts of the neck. All right, so we'll get started with the example, and then I'm going to follow it up with the tutorial. This is a 12 bar blues in the key of G major and for the first four bars I'm starting things off with a G dominant 7 chord right here. All right, so that's based off of this large bar chord. I'm just making it a lot smaller by utilizing the root on the D string at the 5th fret. And then my index finger is on the major 3rd, 4th fret of the G string and I'm using my pinky to play the flat 7, the 6th fret of the B string. Could use your, your ring finger as well instead if that's more comfortable. So I'm sliding in on that one chord from one fret below. Okay. There's that strum pattern. For the four chord, I'm going to be using a C chord with the root at the third fret on the A, A string. Right, and I'm sliding in on that chord as well. Okay, back to the one. For the five chord, I'm going to be using a D9 chord. Uh, root at the fifth fret and sliding in on that uh, chord as well. That's the four. All right, so that's my last four bars of the 12 bar progression. All right, so I'm using a G dominant seven chord for the one, a C9 for the four, and a D9 for the five with a bit of a funky strumming rhythm pattern. For the second 12 bar section of my example, I'm starting things off with a G9 chord this time around. Roots at the 10th fret on the A string. And I'm sliding into that chord like this. For the four chord, and this time around I'm going to be using a C dominant seven chord. Roots at the tenth fret on the D string. And I'm sliding in once again from one fret below. For the five chord, I'm going to be using a D dominant seven this time around. All right, sliding in. Here's the four. Right, so using these ninth chords and dominant seven chords interchangeably adds for a real funky sound while still maintaining that blues 12 bar progression. So I started things off with a G dominant seven chord in the first 12 bar section, went to a C9, and the five was a D9. For the second 12 bar section, I started things off with a G9. The 4 was a C dominant 7 chord, and the 5 was a D dominant 7 chord. Alright, so you can mix and match those chords for a good effect. <laughs> 